Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 3 Introduction to IoT dealing with OSI model. Come, let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. So, the OSI model is of seven layers from bottom to top. This is the layer 1 physical layer, layer 2 data link layer, layer 3 network layer, layer 4 transport layer, layer 5 session layer, 6 presentation layer and the final layer is application layer. So these are the 7 layers from bottom to the top. Now you will be seeing the architecture. See, from the bottom to the top, these are the seven layers. And each layer will be called with its own term that we will be seeing. So till transport layer, it is a network. And this is an operating system that is application layer, presentation layer, and session layer act as an operating system. So what is a physical layer? This is nothing but the layer one of the OSA model. So what this layer is responsible for? It is responsible for electrical and mechanical operation. Means, so it deals with if there is any issue in generation of signal or if there is any issue while transferring any signal like voltage, voltage current or if there is any uh, issues in the layout of cables when connecting to a number of hosts. If the uh, if there is a mistake in uh, transferring the data from one port to the another port, if there is a signal loss, then this physical layer is responsible to deal with it. And this layer is also responsible for the complete layout of the network. That is, this is the layer where the nodes will form a network. So the nodes will decide to form either star, mesh, bus, or ring topology. And it decides what kind of communication to be followed, either simplex, duplex, or full duplex. So all these operations will be carried out in the first layer called as the physical layer. So now in this physical layer, it is the data that is transferred from this layer will be called by a term called as symbol, right? So next layer, data link layer. So this is the second layer of the OSM model. And what it is responsible for? It is responsible for the establishment and termination of connection. It establishes and terminate the connection as and when required. So it not alone, not alone does the establishment and termination. It also helps in detecting the errors, correcting the errors during the communication from one to other host. So this data link layer has two sub layers. See, the two sub layers is medium access control MAC and logical link control LLC. So under data link layer, you have two sub layers. What this two sub layers is responsible for? This medium access control is responsible to access the control or access the permission, get the permission to access the data. It connects different network devices. And what about LLC? It is responsible for checking error, checking the flow control between one node to the other node, and checks for the synchronization whether each and every bit transmitted from one node to the other node forms a synchronization with time or data. And finally, the data link layer, the data as the data link layer is subjected to a term called as frame. And next layer is network layer. Obviously, this is layer three of the OSI model. What it does, it keeps routing the data from one host to the other host. It provides a path to transfer the data from one host to the another host. And it uses different path, logic, logical paths, which is called as the virtual circuits. So this logical path, it passes through any intermediate nodes before reaching the actual destination node. It is not that it actually transfers the data from a client to a server model. You have n number of nodes between a client and the server. So only after reaching that node, it can pass to the destination host, right? And what it does is this network layer is responsible for 
controlling the congestion that is happening inside the network and it handles the error such that 99% there is no error that is produced during the transmission of data and it is also responsible for inter-networking that is it ensures that it is connected to network properly connect connectivity of the network is checked at each and every stage of the transmission so in network layer the complete unit that we use in network layer is termed as pocket next is your fourth layer of osi model transport layer so this transport layer checks the end-to-end -end error recovery and flow control it checks whether the flow control of one bit to the other bit is correct such that no errors is happening inside the system such that if it is if the flow control and the error control is checked obviously the data from one end to the other end successfully reaches the destination node and this layer is responsible for keeping track of acknowledgement that is when a client and a server is communicating with each other when a client tells hi to the server now the server will respond back telling hi that is acknowledgement it has acknowledged the client only after the acknowledgement only after the receiving of acknowledgement it keeps transferring the data if no acknowledgement is received it assumes that the data that is transmitted has failed to reach the destination path so in case if there is loss of data or if there is no acknowledgement received then it will ensure that some other segment we have to again send the duplicate data such that it reaches the destination node and the complete unit that is used in the transport layer is mentioned as segment or datagram next is your fifth layer of osa model this is your session layer so the session layer is responsible for controlling establishing and terminating the communication between different hosts so it first establishes the connection then controls it controls like error checking flow control congestion control or controls is maintained and as and when required the data or the communication will be terminated so this is fully utilized during the remote procedure calls and this protocol unit that is followed in the session layer will be referred as data and this presentation layer will be your sixth layer of the osi model and obviously it is responsible for the conversion that is encryption and decryption of data the data received from the lower layer will be encrypted such that it is not leaked to any other client or any other uh, that is the confidentiality of the data is completely maintained compatibility is maintained it uh, it avoids error to be inside the data and finally the data unit that is used in presentation layer is termed as data so both the session layer and the presentation layer the unit will be specified as data after that this is your application layer which is the sixth layer of the osi model so this actually give an accessibility to end user through some software like application program interface it uses application program interfaces to communicate with the data using some software and this application such as file transfer, emails, FTP, all these are some examples of the application layer. So in emails, we transfer the mails where the data is exchanged between one person to the other person. But only when you log in into the email, you know that one person has communicated to you, right? So that is a kind of software that is used between in the emails. And this application layer, it is dealing with authentication. Uther, only when you enter the password, you can enter into your mail ID. So that is user authentication. Next is identification of communication host. Once you enter, sometimes your email asks for recovery mail, whether it is you or not, right? So that is identification. If suppose a threat is going to happen, it will identify. Someone has wrongly logged in, it will give you a warning that someone is using your email. And it also ensures the quality of services and it pri primarily it ensures the privacy of data in your email nobody can access your mail so the protocol that is the data unit that is used in the application layer is termed as data 
So this application layer, session layer, and the presentation layer, both combined, all combined together, it is called as a data, final data that is transferred from transport layer, right? Hope you have understood the OSI model architecture. Please, please be stay tuned for other lecture videos. Thank you.